No, nah, if tomorrow's National Girlfriend Day, I'm fucked. I don't, I don't think it's like... Why? No. Because <laughs> I just... I don't know. You, you have to get a gift. I don't have any gifts. My God, I'm broke. Uh, your, your presence is a present, bro. Yeah. yeah try telling any girlfriend uh, in the world that... You're right, you're right. On an anniversary, on a, be- on a birthday, just imagine, just like, yeah, you know, a present is your present. Yeah. Not an anniversary and not a birthday. That's different. I'm talking about, like, na- 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 national whatever day. They make that shit just as important as any other holiday. They do, they do. It's like Mother's Day being way more like important than Father's Day. National Girlfriend Day it probably is just as important as Father's Day right now. Fuck. Damn. That shit equal. Like nobody gives a flying fuck about Father's Day. There's not even a Father's Day section whenever they be celebrating that shit. <laughs> they just put Father's Day with like the the summer shit with grills and swimming stuff. Like what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what dad wants this? You can't even buy them. All they get the same watches, cologne, or tools. I don't know. I don't hate being a fucking dad. Dad's what? Like, shit. I don't ever. know. They, they better give me like the. They, they better buy me some cool animation. I don't know. Yeah, at least like yeah, at least dads nowadays are more. I don't know, like human. Dads, so you can then, get like <laughs> more shit for them. Like there's like more variety that you can get. For yeah, them. dads, my thing. I don't. I still don't know what the fuck my dad likes. He's been getting like Falcon shirts for the past twenty years. <laughs> what the? I don't fuck? even know if he likes the Falcons. Atlanta. Oh Boy. shit! I can't forget. Aren't the niggas kind of good? The Falcons? Yeah, they kind of good. Didn't they win a Super Bowl? No. <laughs> they, What's went, they went to a Super Bowl. Yeah. Wait, Falcons is football? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No way. <laughs> what, is y'all's, what does your dad usually want, Taco, whenever you get Father's Day gift? I don't hold you, bro. I always give my mom a Mother's Day gift. I never give my dad a Father's Day gift. That's that is crazy. so crazy to me. <laughs> what, do you tell him Happy Father's Day? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. Wait, I mean, you just, like, nah. dap him up? <laughs> do you dap your dad up? Uh, Sometimes, yeah. Like, how do you greet your dad? He's just... <laughs> nah, but go back, go back. Yeah. So you what do you him? What do you give him? What yeah. do you, you, just, you just... Happy he Father's Day, Dad. And so then what does he... He doesn't ask for a gift. He's just like, yeah. Happy not Father's Day. My dad. It's funny how niggas treat their dad. does not care at all. No, no, no not that. It's just he doesn't care at all for gifts. He's, nah, he's because I'm the same like, way. It's just like, I get him stuff, but it's just like, I don't know. Like, do I know you? I mean, the extent... Well, the extent I, I, I know him, stuff? but it's just like, I don't I don't know him. I don't know him, know him. I would get like, lot, like scratch off lottery tickets. He's cool with that. Lottery uh-huh. tickets for, for, for you know, Father's for Day. Yes, bro. I get like a good twenty dollars worth of them. Fuck that you. is so disrespectful. <laughs> no, <laughs> no way you get this many no, scratch offs for birthing you. Yes, bro. <laughs> so, so he just <laughs> you being born is worth twenty dollars. <laughs> no, bro. He might win the fucking twenty five million dollars off of that shit. Crazy, crazy, <laughs> Nobody guys. ever That's... wins that bullshit, bro. I ain't even win this new bro, fucking Vince billion can. dollar one. <laughs> I won that shit, not gonna lie. I'm robbing yeah, right. the fuck out of you. Some nigga in Illinois won that shit. Fuck uh, that nigga. Fuck that. What's his Keith, name? Keith, Keith? Uh, Greg Heffley, I think. Something like that. Um, he's lying out his no fucking way. ass. What do you mean? That's what my name gonna be if I win That's that shit. That's kid. Oh, shit. Billionaire dollar. I gotta see who won this shit. They, they are not. not hell no. be you would release your name if you won money. that shit. Nah, but somebody, some nigga is dumb. Too. It depends on your where you live. Cause some states they make it like mandatory that you have to like claim it as your own. Oh <laughs> my god! I think I think what? in New York you have to say your full name. That's you, crazy. You have to say it. No, yeah. but a policy is like pay. pay. Yeah, you can pay to um, have them say no. Yeah, yeah, you'd pay like like a couple thousand, a hundred thousand or some shit, which is some bullshit. But no, for this billion right, dollar one, the nigga had to pay. I think they said nine hundred of it. What? <laughs> what do you mean? That's how they be getting you. This shit is like really a scam for real. Cause like they make they make way more money by people buying those fucking tickets. So giving away that kind of money doesn't even mean a shit to them. It's like okay, here, and then they take they still take like half through taxes this and that taxes, for paying. Yeah. That's crazy. That's Taxes be crazy. crazy money. Like I think they said out of the billion, he only got seven hundred thousand. No million. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
I mean, that's a fuck ton of money, but think about it. That's three hundred million they gave him to the fucking government. Where the that's fuck some... does the money go? To the police oh offices and shit like that. Absolutely, man. Fuck that. Oh my god, man. They they gonna find a fucking way. What would y'all have done with the billion? Oh my god, bro. First of all, I would you know paid to keep my name, and then fucking all the tax shit, and then I would easily move out. Low key, like all the niggas in here just buy this like just buy a big ass house somewhere, probably in Georgia or something, either Georgia or Texas. I can't go to New York. Talk. I'm sorry, bro. You gotta move no down way. over here. They're locked down. Fuck that. Fuck. Bro. And then buy and then buy the fucking all my network building. Hell yeah, get that shit popping. Absolutely. Fuck. You're a different man than me. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? I'd buy a nigga. What the? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, please. You might have to that. What do you mean? I would. Please. How? What do you mean? For what? Hey, what's wrong with that? Yeah, oh, that's slavery. That's that actual shit. slavery. You gotta <laughs> no, that. it's not. Nah, if you if you value it, would be career, with, you it'd be with consent. Shit, what? Uh, now you gotta believe that. That's crazy. I don't It'd know be with consent. What do you mean? What consent? I didn't say I, I would. I wouldn't do it without their consent. That. I said you want to be Who's bought. Consenting to that. What the fuck what? does that even mean? No way you doubling down. Bro, you, you would. Look, bro, you would. <laughs> you if somebody that. offered like, you ten, if somebody offered you ten million to just be their servant, they wouldn't do that shit. Oh, you, know, you get. To, you get to go no home at the end way. of the day. You could just get. Why just not say get a maids and butlers? Why just say buy a nigga? Cause I would own them. What? What do you mean? Bleep mine too. Bleep mine too. Bleep mine too. Matter of fact, yo, now he's gonna on the screen right now. You're gonna hear like the fucking. What would you do with it, Taco? Don't not buy that. somebody. Thank you. That's what's wrong? I don't see God. what's wrong with that. What do you mean? Uh, explain, 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 explain. Uh, I'm no, saying, no, okay, no. look, look, look. I'm just saying, if I got a billion dollars, I would offer somebody, look, bro, like for the rest of your life, oh I'll, I'll let me give you 10 million to just do whatever I want you to do. What the fuck are you going to have this nigga do? I mean, just like if I wanted, if I wanted somebody oh to go God. get me a Powerade or some chips. Like he would have to go get that shit. You're that lazy to get like, some power. Nigga, just say like with, with ten, with 10 like million, I'm gonna be the laziest nigga in the world. Just say secretary then. Why do you just say buy a nigga? Bleep that. Isn't bleep that what? That. Isn't that what buying people it is? Just like having a personal no. servant forever. Oh my god. <sighs> I'll just have an Alfred. <laughs> Taco, what are you gonna do with the money, bro? <laughs> <What are> you... <laughs> Matter of fact, nah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna buy the rights to Paul the Almighty Network. Uh, I mean, not network. Oh, right. Paul the Almighty <laughs> Incorporated. Don't move. Don't move. So he never move. puts out another podcast again to say some shit like this. What's nah, wrong with up. that? What's wrong with that? No way. The Almighty Network. With consent? Don't. Who's consenting to that? What are you talking Yo, about? Yo, you must not know the average nigga. For no, 10 but... million, you wouldn't just be a servant? No, uh, no, man. Yeah, right. Oh, no. you're crazy. What? <laughs> what do you? If somebody offered me, if, if a rich guy offered me ten million to be his intern and just do whatever I want, do whatever he wanted, like go get him shit and like coffee and shit. Hell yeah. I think if I have you go do some fucking buck wild, go go kill it. Go kill I it, didn't man. say man. nothing like that. I said if I ever mm. wanted some Powerade or something. That's you, but a nigga owning you. That's a crazy bro. Believe <laughs> that, <do> you... man. <laughs> This might be the new biggest pie. They're gonna hear this shit and get us up out of here. That's not a bad thing. Nah, nah, bro. Not, just, we good. Apollo's the one that said that. That's true, yeah, that's true, yeah, that's true. It's not, yeah. bro. It's with consent. I'm not doing it against his will. I don't think uh, uh, what matters. I would do with some money, um <laughs> matter of fact, with a consent, hire Apollo as my servant. Uh, like he just what said, fuck? See, nah, it's the I, same I, I, thing. I, 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 nah, he, he, he said, said a black person, though. I just said anybody. Uh, that's what I'm saying. As a doctor, you might have to believe that. You might have to believe that. You might have to believe that. He agrees. That he agrees. I would uh, do it. I thought Apollo was white. What? what? No. no, I'm no, not. No. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You're not. You're never ever getting. You you met five. me in real life. We hugged. Facts. Facts. What did you say? Bleep that. 
<laughs> no, no I'm way. Cooling. I'm cooling. I'm cooling. I'm cooling. I'm cooling. Yes. Hey. Jez, don't, bring it, up. don't bring it up. up. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Next what time. What would y'all do with the... I, I don't see how that's a bad thing. Okay, if I really had the billion dollars, I would probably... Let's see, bro. I for now sure buy a building nice. for Almighty <laughs> Network. But then, like, I don't know. Once you get that money, just, like, your that's your dreams are done. I'd probably... I, I don't just, know. I mean, I'd be like J. Cole. I'm like, I'm just going to stay low-key. I'm not flashing nothing. I'm going to make sure I have, like, I'm going to make generational wealth type shit. I'm like, invest that shit and, like, make sure, like, my fucking whole lineage is eating the rest of their lives. Yeah, if, if one if one singular nigga finds out you got that billion, they about to blackmail the shit out of you like the boys. Fuck. That's going to be the rest of your life is niggas just blackmailing you. I, I don't surround myself with niggas that blackmail me, though. Because niggas, niggas, niggas going to find out you got the billion and then take that bleep off the one episode. No way. <laughs> like, nah, the only man, one who got access to that is Apollo. Apollo said he's going to do that shit himself. Nah, bro, the niggas on TikTok be going crazy, bro. They be like, when the girls do that, like, Red Room challenge and the inverted challenge, they Red be room. reversing that shit. How do they do that? The niggas are going crazy. <laughs> See? How do you, how do you <laughs> reverse that? It makes no sense. Niggas, niggas are in the comments, like, giving, like, step by step distractions, too. They were like, you know, <laughs> yeah. just getting, like, what the fuck? And I'd be following oh. each and every instruction. You're going straight to hell. I promise you never seeing heaven. I don't know what you're <laughs> they, They're the ones that posted it. Why did you fall temptation? Because I wanted to see the word. <laughs> what do you mean? What? Y'all ever I get curious? Mean. Wait, Taco, did you do it? Did you do it? He didn't even what say the... what he, he asked what it was. Nah, I know, I know what you're talking about. I, so I did, did that. Did you before. reverse it? So you say, did you reverse the image? Yeah, don't, don't, lie. Don't, don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. Okay, we're okay. We're gonna be lying that. this entire podcast. And we wouldn't buy a nigga. We wouldn't. Who was we? Who was you? No, so we just gonna Taco, lie. Don't, Taco, don't say we. Taco, you said Apollo. <laughs> you both getting blue. No, Apollo said uh, if someone would hire me as a servant. As a butler, hell yeah! <laughs> that's a cool outfit. See, so that's what I meant, bro. Y'all no, just y'all spun no, my words. Y'all spun no. my words. No, no, I'm gonna spend it now. To, Blaine, to bro. You, no, bro. That, what do you think the Waynes did? They bought Alfred, bro. Nah, but the way. Oh wait. Nah, they they not... said, look, bro. Let me pay you this amount of money. You're gonna be our permanent servant no, forever. I'm not buying somebody. I'm giving someone proper employment with benefits and shit, bro. Me too. What? No way. Man, you didn't yeah, say you that, said, to you didn't say bro. That the to benefit you. is ten million dollars. That's the that's the permanent benefit. That's the best benefit. I don't know. The way you said it's kind of crazy. You might. I don't what know. do you mean? You, you still gotta bleep it. That's all I know. You still gotta. Bleep. I might have to get to the apology video already. Facts with the tears and everything. Talk about tears. Ah. I'm not bleeping a fuck ass thing. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> what I, haven't, I haven't even said what I wanted to spend my money on. Fuck. Yes, you did. You said actually, oh, I no, didn't. You, uh, go, go, man. Go ahead. We're never getting that Raycon fucking sponsorship, man. Fuck. Man, fuck Ray J. Anyway, no, the, no, no, oh no. That was God, God, that was, man. Yes, that bleep, you say that, that, bro? Bleep that, bleep that, bleep yes, that. Bleep what are you that. doing, bro? No, nah, we gotta bleep <laughs> that. I, that. I mean, we need Raycons. I need Raycons. No, I, love, I, love I, love you, I go, I go hold you. I go hold you. I be browsing the website sometimes. What website? Wait, the Kim K video? Yeah. What? The... Why? Nah, the Ray 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 Con earbuds. Ray Con earbuds. Oh. Why would you say yes to the Kim K? I never watched that. Video is fucking mid. I have never watched that shit. You can't. Okay, fast. you can't tell me you've never seen that. You can't, can't tell me you. You've I've never seen even it. Tried to bust to that shit, bro. I've tried. I it didn't work. I haven't. I haven't. I just remember, I got I got curious on what the video looked like, and I couldn't. I can't even get up to that shit. But the Raycons are a hundred dollars. No way, man. The oh, fuck? Oh, you look this shit up in pod. I Dude. never. I never buzzed a Kim K. That shit's like, bro. I've never found them attractive. Fuck no. Fuck. I mean, I, I watched that shit years ago, so I definitely have. Wait, you used to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians? No, bro. The video, oh. man. <laughs> No, you, you used to, you used to, don't lie, don't I, lie. I used to keep up with them a little bit, you know. What the fuck? Who's your, who's your favorite? What's, what's the first video y'all think of when you think of porn? Courtney. Who is that? Huh? Courtney Kardashian, okay. Kardashian, that's, cool. that's the first video you think of? No, no that was the answer to just porn. question. That's his favorite, that's his favorite Kardashian. Oh. No, my favorite why, is probably why, Kylie. Why do y'all spell with a K? That shit's so fucking That's three of them. Motivated. 
Yeah, it probably got to be either Kylie or uh, it can't be either of them, bro. But yeah, dude, damn, Kylie's the only. Chloe, Kim, Kendall, one. Kylie, Courtney. All the rest of them are whack because Courtney and Chloe are all weird, and fucking Kendall did that stupid ass Coca Cola commercial. Yeah, yeah, it probably yeah, got to be Kylie. Kylie. Kylie yeah, look bad as Kylie. shit. She does. She does. And, and she's, she's only been with. Though. Wait, she's with. She's, she's twenty four. She's the one that's damn. with the uh, dude, Travis. Travis. Yeah. 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 Wow. Was she with Tiger too? Yeah. Oh, she was. was. Like 16. Oh, yeah. But Ew. Was. What the? Oh, I yeah. I remember like that. 20. Ew. Because Drake dissed him. Damn. I forgot what the song. I think it was like 5 a.m. in Toronto or some shit. But he was like, uh, how you? <laughs> I don't forget what the fuck he says. Some spicy shit. Something your girl's age. Yeah, yeah. Is this a. How, is this the world stage? I don't know what the fuck the nigga said, bro. I don't know. So Tiger was doing some weird hell, man. Yeah, he was no he was dating her when he was like twenty and she was sixteen. She was like twenty one, I think. Twenty two. Yeah. And niggas yeah. just it was a different time back then. Anything was just let slide. And that was on uh, TV. Oh, it's called six PM in New York. Yeah, okay. that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you look shit up so fast? Uh yeah, I'm gonna be on my thing. What's the line then? Let me see. Oh, so it was on your, if you're reading this, it's too late. I, that's, that's a fucking go to that shit. Okay, so he said, he rapped, I heard a little homie talking reckless and vibe. Quite a platform you chose. You should have kept it inside. Oh, you tried. It's so childish calling my name on the world stage. You need to act your age and, and not, not your, your girl's, girl's age. Damn. Yeah. Okay, okay, Jay. Okay, Jersey. <laughs> you nigga don't miss. That nigga's so spicy, bro. I gotta, I gotta respect it. Huh? That's, I gotta respect it. You say you got to respect it. I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. I, heard you. I, I respect that. I might out on compliments. To overdose on confidence. That in yeah. that what? I, I thought you were Drake's biggest hater. Me? What are you talking about? No, Taco. Oh, what are yeah, you talking you about? that nigga. <laughs> so you just don't hate Drake anymore? Wait, I hate Drake. Fuck Drake. Oh, yeah. What the? You were just... Whatever. Yeah, I hate you Beyonce's album, too. What the... What? Nah. I shake my ass to that shit today. Me personally, me personally, I love the Beehive. I love them. Me personally, me personally, I can't say nothing negative about them. Me neither. I guess what I'm saying. She's selling. She's selling 315 first week. I gotta respect it. Yes, Wait, how much can you sell? 295. Two. I thought it was lower than that. Was it 295? I think Drake sold 295. 230. I thought Kendrick sold like 205. No, hell no. He's only like two thirty, I think. Oh, okay, maybe two thirty five. So it had a five in it for sure. It was it was two ninety five, two ninety five. Damn! How the fuck did we go from Drake selling six hundred on his last album to everybody selling below four hundred? Like nobody's I mean, really selling. Like I mean, those are of course dead, are numbers, numbers. But what the fuck is going on? I mean, niggas are not buying records no more, right? Like, everyone's just, like, kind of sh- streaming and shit. And they, they only those, count those are the streams. streams. Like I mean, I hold you. I don't think people want to hear fucking, your pussy is calling my name. I don't think people want to hear that what shit. What the hell song? That's on Beyonce's album? That's Drake, bro. Oh. I was I mean, just saying, no way. No way you know <laughs> that song. That shit's, that, 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 I don't that song, know what song, song that kinda, is. What the hell that song, song is kinda that? That song kind of heat. What? It's calling my name. What do you, for what album? Uh, uh, honestly, never mind. No way you listen to you that went album. went back to that album? Huh? Uh, yeah, Beyonce's album is critically acclaimed. I, I think she's a mate. She actually fuck? did her fucking thing this time, bro. Honestly, all these songs. I was talking to somebody about the album earlier today. This shit, this shit kind of fucking hit. Like, this is what we were waiting for, honestly. Wait, you started speaking okay. French? Huh? You said we... I don't, know. <laughs> I, <fucking God. laughs> I don't like dan- dance music, bro. I don't know. So, I, mean, I, just don't, I guess y'all just party and stuff more than me. I don't. I don't like dance music. Man, oh, the I, album I, I was the album was good. I just don't. I'm not gonna go back and listen to it. Probably. Yeah, at, at all. Yeah, that's my was one and only listen. I mean, she got <laughs> yo, I like that. Uh, I like the song towards the end. I forgot what the fuck it was called. There was one of the songs on there. That's I don't remember a single crazy. song from that. Bitch. I ain't fucking with Virgo's groove. I don't know what Hold on, let me, let me see what a uh, song I I like oh the most. God. What was the song called? I, I can never remember the most song off that bitch. Keep it buck with no you. No way. It was a good album. Like I said, it Break was my a... soul. Break my soul. The lead single is no, one of the uh, best songs uh, of the year. Song is getting overplayed. I already know it is. Uh, what? That song did not hit. Oh, for me I liked. Uh, 
I think heated or Virgo's groove. One yeah, of those Virgo's groove. Plastic off my sofa. I just wanted, wanted to drop some music videos. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking oh, I'm waiting for. for that shit. Ah. Exactly. Ah. Hey, why y'all waiting on that? Me and Jess watch know. She, always, she, she makes the most exquisite music videos. She has, a, right. she has an eye for that shit. What's your shit. favorite one? Uh, that one where she was in the fucking hotel dancing with her girls on the on the fucking uh, veranda. That shit was fire. What did you? Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven. Oh yeah, Seven Eleven. That's what it was. Oh yeah. How do you remember the music video description, but not what song it was? I see, man, she has so many bangers. I just busy guys. Because you ain't listen to the fucking song. You looking at the I girls. Did. I did. I did. <laughs> you, you. I said what song? You said the one where they were dancing in the hotel to to, to, to music. What the fuck does it, that mean? It, it's an iconic song. Oh, what I you didn't even remember the name. No, I was to be listening to the lyrics. What a taking a whiff, like. <laughs> Huh? What? Yeah. I'm good at this song. And she was on the Lion King shit. Beyonce is such a queen, man. I gotta respect it. I have to go to y'all. What? Huh? <laughs> he gonna snuff the fuck out of y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Jay Z. Man, yeah, fuck Jay Z. Oh my Jay-Z, god. Jay Z, bro. Man, you cannot. Yeah, Beyonce. Beyonce 7 Eleven. Beyonce 7 Eleven. Look at that, man. Bro, I'll say that shit again, bro. Fuck million me. views. Damn. That was Taco. That was Taco. Nah, what, was did Jez, say, what did he that just say? Right there. That was Jez. Say it again, Taco. Say it again. I'm not. I'm not going to. I would, don't worry. Just Apollo, uh, go ahead and reverse it for the people. Easily hear it back on the listen back. Yeah. No way. Now, real quick. Look at me. Real quick. Real quick. Oh, my gosh. He's so yeah, yeah, real quick. Real quick. $500,000 for dinner <laughs> with Jay-Z. What would you say? Why do you always ask that bum-ass question? Jay-Z. Fuck that question, man. <laughs> 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 I hate that question so I'm, much. I'm okay. The five hundred thousand dollars looking pretty nobody, trash. Nobody might, taking might, that fucking dinner. He's intellectual... gonna stare at you and then leave, bro. I think the intellectual conversation would hold, bro. That nigga's not bro, giving was... you any advice at all. Bro's That's gonna what... be on Red Room too. Come on, it has to be. No, nigga. He's, nigga, nigga, he's some breadsticks and then rub the crumbs on your face and then walk the fuck out. <laughs> he might not even show up for real. He might just tell you showing up and not even show up for real. It's the craziest part. Me with the bill. He might send you a message like through like a like an Alfred, <laughs> and it, it just says you should have took the five hundred. Yeah, yeah. Man, why respect. you figure shit up? I gotta respect it. I gotta respect it. I see where Paul's coming from now. Okay, I just, like, wait, wait, wait. I, I just don't like. Where I worded it, 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 it wrong. I worded it wrong. You did. You did. You gotta bleep it. You gotta bleep it. That shit was crazy. I, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I did the cleanup. I did the cleanup. No way, the The pewdie. Hell no. Yeah. If I was a white nigga saying that, that'd be a whole difference. If I was a white nigga saying I'd buy a nigga, that would don't be crazy. Say, oh my, say it again. Oh oh my god. god. Bro, yeah, nigga is an is a broad is a broad term. Nigga is uh, I call binary. white people nigga. Yes, yeah, he's unisex low key. Nigga is just like a term of like it's like a noun type shit. Nigga can even mean it can mean a boy, a girl, non binary. It can mean white, black, Hispanic, anybody. Mm-hmm, I would just mm-hmm. I would just Pay somebody to be my permanent errand boy forever. Oh my Wouldn't god. That'd that be kinda cool that though. Like, damn, I'm hungry. Hungry. Yeah, like imagine yeah. I'm streaming my twenty four, I'm just like, hey bro, can you mind um getting me a little Chick fil A bro? But yes, Ross, you can run out the yeah, door. Yeah, he's like, yeah, of course, no bro. Way. That'd be kinda cool though. For key. ten that million, cool. his entire family is his entire family is set for ten mil. Yeah. Yeah, Were you paying that right, shit though. out front or what? Hell yeah. yeah. I have I, I mean, have a billion dollars. And then he's making more money on top of it too, cause like he has the, he has a network and shit. So it's like stop him key. from running and taking the ten mil. What, what you mean? you're gonna stop him? No, I said what's stopping him from running and taking the ten mil with him? Uh, I mean, he was, he was I mean, good. You know? I could just pay somebody else to go find him and then erase him. Ah. Erase. Allegedly. What do you mean by that? What do you yeah. mean by that? Allegedly. 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 What? <laughs> As, we gotta bleep that. You gotta bleep that. You gotta bleep that. You gotta bleep that. You gotta bleep that. This might be the most. Yeah, for real. What do you mean? Why? Why is that edited? What? Nah, I don't know if you can say that on YouTube. Somebody go hit him. No, that's not what you said. Though. Nah, you did it. That's what you Somebody go hit him. It's not what she said. It's not what she said. I hit. Have y'all, have y'all seen those videos of the people that think they're talking to a hitman? 
and they'd just be a cop. What? What? <laughs> what kind of videos you're watching, man? I mean, that's that's some like, just, that's be on like news channels. It'd be like Why? this woman thought she was it talking was cool. to a, a personal hitman, and she'll be in there like describing in detail what she wants to do. And then after she gets done, he'll be like, "Are you sure?" And she say, "Yes." And they'll be like, "All right." And then cuff her, and she'll like, "What the?" And then he'll arrest her. <laughs> like, dumbass. No way. No, no way. You thought way. it was just this easy? No way. And she was on like Craigslist. People still use Craigslist in 2022. That's like, you're absolutely. Up for yeah, bro, Craigslist is, is highly what? popular. What the? Oh, bro, but I heard some of like, the most worst stories known to man from Craigslist. Oh, oh yeah, no. they, they be giving it up on Craigslist, but it man, still popular. Lie. Back when I was like sixteen and like you know oh, yeah. a sixteen year old, uh, I used to watch like these uh, pranks on YouTube where like they would call like sex workers and shit from Craigslist, and I'd be like, man, this shit is like so funny, and like uh, I I want to I want to do the same thing. So I went to Craigslist <laughs> and I looked up my area. And it was like they were charging two hundred fifty dollars an hour. Damn. I'm like, hold up, bro. Damn. Uh, she works hard for her money, all right. Anyways, so I'm sure people who got the money will like enjoy that, whatever, enjoy the services. Anyways, I wait, tried, what? Wait, 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 I wait. Tried to, huh? Like, like, what happened? Wait, what was it? Two hundred fifty-four. Uh, companionship. On Craigslist. Yes, bro. They, they, I mean, they don't. They don't have that shit anymore. But back then, Craigslist was a fucking oh, free for all. Yeah, you meant like it's still yeah. on there? No, no, no. no, no. They don't have that shit anymore. They they had that shit back then. It was like why it was a section for that shit. Uh, and it was crazy. there was always a disclaimer uh, when you're entering that page, like oh disclaimer, everything here is eighteen plus. You know, I do things at your own discretion. Blah 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 blah. And uh, yeah, I, and then I called, but then as soon as they picked up, I heard like the hello. And I fucking hung up immediately, bro. I was no so way. scared. I shit my pants. I was 16 years old. Fuck, I don't know any better. So you, so you, you didn't have the 250 for, for, for How an hour? How were you? I had, like, enough for half a second. Maybe a kiss on the cheek or something, bro. <laughs> she would have pulled up and snuffed your ass. Real shit, bro. real shit. That's crazy as hell. I've never heard of niggas doing that on Craigslist. I ain't gonna hold you. That is news to me. No, nah, they they were doing they were giving it up on for real for real. I saw that one story where like they, they love like look they love like that kind of like weird role play where like they wanted you know people to come on like you know like R word type shit. So they would no like pay way. people. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a no. <laughs> Should be in that's, what, that. that's what CNC is. What? What? So this, so I yeah so I it, I think it hit like they hit the news because like she paid these guys to come do it and like they came in. I think I forgot what happened though. I don't know if it's like she like. Changed her mind or something, but like this shit was. It was they said nah. Story. No, they they agreed to it and they came in, but like it was just oh no, it was not a good story. It was not a good story. They were just giving it up back then. Now yeah, it's probably a lot more controlled. You can't do any of that stuff anymore. But no, before you're going to jail, if you even looked that shit up. Absolutely. Yeah. Nah, that's 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 real quick. <laughs> huh? Because that what you what you say? What huh? This nigga. T- <laughs> no, but Craig Craigslist, Kick, and uh, YouTube were like the trifecta of his weird shit. Uh, YouTube, like, yeah, YouTube had like they had like all the, like the old twerking videos, and they were just like, oh my no. god, oh yeah, there we, go. no, I, we, we, we had a, we had a pod about this. Like they used to have like softcore porn on YouTube. Yeah, absolutely, they were going they crazy on YouTube. Fucking go wild, bro, ballistic. And they would, they had like that kissing prank nigga. That nigga's name was like what? Prank invasion. He would go around just like kissing girls. Yo, who was the nigga that like? <laughs> oh that yeah, like, cancel. What was his name? Casey was that Neistat. Him no, it was like Casey some, Neistat. Like, it was some prank YouTuber that just like he was just doing everything. <laughs> but he was like he oh, made no, I, the I last video he made was like the touch my dick prank. What? Yeah, I think that was prank invasion. Yeah, wait, that was his name. Yeah, what was his yeah, real yeah, name. Prank, yeah. I don't know, cause I, I remember invasion, I know his yeah. I, I remember hearing his like name, not his channel. Oh, uh, I just know I just remember him because like his and the things his videos are still up on YouTube to this day. You can still go, but his, like him himself is not anymore. But his videos are everywhere. But, like it was like they would not just be kissing either. They, they, like I don't know, and it'd be the most wildest videos too. Be like Sam Pepper, kissing... Sam Pepper. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. That nigga was doing outlandish shit. 
prank. Oh yeah, I remember that he, one. He did a prank video. like kidnapping. <laughs> he did like he did a prank like um, I get shot in front of my friend's very eyes or some shit. Or like this dude like prankingly kidnapped both of them and then blasted Sam Pepper in front of his best friend. What the like, fuck? His friend was just sitting there crying like ah, ah, like because he just saw his friend die. Yeah. And then they pulled and the hood off and was like, hey, it's a prank. Nah, nah dude, they <laughs> they 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 for a long ass time before they took that shit down. He was yeah. a five years. What the? Because he got canceled. Like he, that's like the one of the only times like cancellations worked. Sandpaper confronts Fusey too. Fusey too, but another nigga. I don't know. That nigga was I, I, like. I thought was old, I used so to watch Fusey too. Like when when he was popping off, like fucking eight years ago. I used to watch his ass. And we thought he was cool because he he would do like he would do like those like homeless shit. Like oh, I'm trying to help with homeless, and he like, he would have like the sad yeah. music playing and stuff. And like it came so out that it was fake and it was not now. real at all. And like he was like paying niggas to, like act poor. Oh my gosh, it was so whack. Bro, just thinking, imagine <laughs> imagine you being homeless and a nigga with a camera comes up to you. I always think of this scenario, but I don't want anybody to like think it's about me. What, what do you mean? So like this, I was just like my mind just be weird. So I just be thinking about shit, right? But imagine, like I say, you have a girlfriend, right? And you're cheating on her, and imagine like you're open, like you're cheating on her, and you have been for like a while, and you just walking through the mall, and those like TikToker niggas with a camera come up and tell you to switch your phone with your girl. What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> Those ones. What would you do? I saw that. I saw that most recent one. It was like it was these two white people, or whatever, and like they they switch, and the girl kept them looking at the her. Two white girls. You know, it, it, like, it was Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw that one. Yeah. What was a girl and a, was was a, girl and a guy? And a, it was a girl and a guy, and the guy was like, he's like, yeah, sure, for sure. But the girl looked so scared, and they told <laughs> so that she was looking at that nigga. Like, like, don't check that, don't check that. Like, what, personally, what, personally, what would y'all do, remember. bro, if you were, <laughs> you were cheating no, and the nigga, I, I had nothing to hide. nigga with the I had camera? Nothing to hide. I'm just saying if you were cheating and the nigga with the camera is like, hey, switch oh. phones for me. <laughs> I his fucking face. You would know. what? I don't know. Because like, no matter what I'm you do, like life. you can't be like, nah, man, because she won't be like, why not? I'm, I'm doing the race that, that camera. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm, I'm the race. Either way, no matter what you do, it's gonna look terrible. And I'm, nah, I, I, they I'm know. Not, I'm gonna destroy the evidence. I might pull a handle. You don't throw your phone. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 you know, I, I've been no way, the man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck that shit in the fountain. <laughs> I'm, I might pretend like, I'm, I'm, like I'm, I might pretend like I trip and like break my phone. Crack that you, how Damn. would you get away with that though? Like. She's gonna I, easily I, I, know that you did something. Nah, I'm like, like my sister. Yeah. My sister. Nah, I'm calling. Calling. <laughs> you just gonna I'm throw it in the Ryzen fountain immediately. I'm calling Verizon. <laughs> He's gonna go wipe everything out my fucking phone right now. Real shit. That's no shit. way, <laughs> bro. What? I'm, I might say. I might say. Like, I, 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 everything. No, I might say. Give me a minute to, 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 to use the restroom. Like, 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 going to delete everything. That's not gonna <laughs> work. I'm, what do you no, mean? I'm, I'm calling, bro, I'm, I'm calling the phone carrier. I'm calling the phone carrier. Tell them to wipe everything off my phone. You gonna say you? have I to pee have... and just walk away. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I need to pee real quick. And I, you know, go do what She's I have gonna to do, say, no, back. let's just check it. No, no, okay, like, <laughs> no, I, I, I really gotta pee. No way, you I just really go tell her no. I, I go back, I really gotta pee for real. And, you know, and, I, and, I, and I, maybe I come back, I just don't have my phone. Don't what, have my what, phone the nigga the just try to grab it out your head? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I might, look, I might put my, I might put my phone like in my back pocket. Like, I left that at the house type shit. No, you know? it'd be like, no, it's right there. Like, like, there's just like I, no I, way you can escape it. I, 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 I hit them niggas too. They be just to get like a motherfucker. Y'all, y'all don't trust each other. Like, yeah, yeah like, it's inescapable. Like, what do you, what would you do? I might have to fight that nigga. What? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I'm saying like you, you see the person recording. Take that fucking camera, dip that shit in the fountain, probably. Facts. Yeah, yeah, facts. Oh, you'll no, take no, his I phone? No, take the yes. camera. Take the camera. Take the camera. Fuck that camera. That's That's crazy. Water, bro. <laughs> you're what are you not doing? getting away with that. What are you doing? Let's go hold the L. <laughs> what? No, what? <laughs> what the? Either, either way, it's an L. What? Nah, but you're gonna be on the camera like this nigga really like could at least, at least be, like fake it or try to run away and they might oh this it's just a prank, you know, like oh it's, it's either fake. it's either you hold the L that you better be an immaculate liar when she asks who Cynthia is. 
I might just not bring my phone when I would ever go to the mall. I might keep my no phone. No way. Just you just going to not ever bring your phone because of the, the chance that TikTok could walk up? No, because then niggas be, they'd be like hounding niggas. <laughs> they'd be just as worse as like those fucking kiosks. They'd be, yeah, they'd, they'd be, be worse than the fucking niggas. the diamond testers. Them niggas be chasing it. Uh, you know, just come over <laughs> my boy. Like, no, nigga. You, you want a shoe shine? No, man. I you ever yeah. seen the videos on TikTok of like the, the shoe cleaners in the mall and shit? Them niggas are just yeah, they, 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 got, like, they got me and my pals one time. I think there was a villain. There was a video of one. I think like they somebody was walking by and they like insulted the dude. They were like, yo, you fat fuck. Like they were like, come over here and like, like hey, were, yo, what? <laughs> Oh, a fat fuck? No way. <laughs> they called who that? <laughs> who they called that? <laughs> no That'd way. Like, yeah, bro. It's some I random know. dude? Yes. They, like, they said, yo, here. fat like, fuck. They put under their breath, too. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> no, those, what if those niggas gonna get their ass beat one day? The niggas that be like, throwing shit at people and then acting like it wasn't them? Oh, them niggas be so like, and then, like they be at Walmart. Should they just throw yeah. something over the fucking thing? Like, damn, who <laughs> do be, that? Like, so. Or the niggas that be like, damn, your ass fat as shit, <laughs> and then like <laughs> somebody will come out like holding like a donkey or some shit. Like, no, the ass. Like, nigga, oh, you been talking no fucking nigga. no ass. <laughs> those, those, those things are so weird. This, you yeah. see the ones with like, she like, can I squeeze it? She like, what? Like, yeah, can I squeeze it. And then she was like, no. And then he like, oh, I, mean, I, I know I was it. talking to my homie. And it's like, he come out of nowhere with a stuffed animal. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I hate TikTok so much, bro. I, mean, dude, I, are like, I don't know. They're worse than like Cream, prime YouTube dude. niggas. They're so worse, yeah, man. So corny. Shit's never funny. Like, they be like, like they did the fucking, uh, was it, it was it gay son thought daughter shit? Like, why did they start making it these random ass hypotheticals? It doesn't make no what, goddamn why sense. Did, why did it make like one was worse than the other? <laughs> like, <laughs> like they, they made this seem like it was just such like an unpickable option. Niggas believe saying like, damn. You see that one thing where that guy was like, I'm gonna have a thought daughter because like I'll join in. That nigga's crazy. That nigga's crazy. <laughs> what? That shit was crazy. <laughs> That's the most craziest one. He was like, I he, he said, it, he, and Wait, he said it so fast. He said it so fast. He's like, you wanna have a gay son or a thought daughter? He's like, ah, daughter. He's like, why? Like, I'll, I'll be in there with him. Like, what? Up, huh? what? No he said, way. He said and that. Then, and, then, and then he doubled down too because he was like, yeah, I, I can't wait to leave, leave, to leave the train or some shit like that. <laughs> that nigga's insane. Uh, nah, I he, like never, he never eats a kid ever. What the fuck? That's you crazy. Ever, you ever, yeah, it's so popular. You can see them. Uh, hell no. Nah. Oh, nah, he I, I, he I said, I joined in. Yes, bro. Gay son versus <laughs> That's crazy. No way that nigga said that shit. It's, it's, a, it's a spawning video. This is the thing that spawned it all. Oh, let me see. There'll be, oh, other, my there'll God. be other podcasts. It'll be like. like Taking the question into consideration and talking about, it. like I've seen them. Yeah, you know, I, I've shown you guys like some whack ass clips on one of their podcasts. They usually be, they literally be discussing the fucking question. Like, bro, are you, are you, are you dumb? Like, like, oh my god. Why did he exactly like? Why is the, why is the gay son like the the unpickable option? Like, what are you talking about? Oh, some of these questions are. We might have to come on here and just answer some of these because some one of this says suck a, dick, suck a dick, let your mom die. What the fuck is that why is a that a common one? Doing, Jez? What you doing, Jez? Don't ask me that dick. fucking question. <laughs> That's not even a choice. What? All I got to do is suck a dick, and my mom won't get blasted in front of my very eyes. Where's the fucking nigga that who agrees with it? Maybe they took it down. That shit was so fucking hilarious. Yeah, he, he had that shit scrubbed off the internet. Uh, I, saw, I, saw, I saw it recently on TikTok. And it always resurfaces. It's so funny. That's that's just fucking hilarious. We'll call in. We'll call in the folks. Just fucking TikTok is so fucking stupid, man. Hey, son or Don Don. There we go. Hold on, let's see. Is this right here? Answer that question. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. This dude, just DM it to me, bro. This shit is fucking. That's crazy. Okay, I, I'm 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 gonna read it out what he says. Oh, that's what he said. So he said, Would you rather have a thought daughter or a gay son? He said He said, Man, I'd rather have a thought daughter. He said, But now well if you walk in the house, she getting clapped by the whole football <laughs> team. Clapping he said, Man, I'll be the one clapping with her. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way just said that. I'd be clapping with them. <laughs> what the- way, man. I must have what does this. that mean? What the I don't fuck? Know. I don't know. <laughs> Your <laughs> daughter? <laughs> What did what did the cameraman say? What did the, the, the cameraman say? So say? Like what the fuck? 
No, I just cut to some random meme. It can't it cut to the Tobey Maguire meme. I'm like, what the fuck? I would have. I don't know what I would. I would have started dying laughing if a nigga said that shit. I would have been on the floor. But he was being so sick. He didn't laugh, bro. He was being so serious. I think it was not joking. He really <laughs> no, do that. You don't need a kid at all, man. Yeah. I've been looking at some of these niggas like you don't. Y'all don't need kids. Like cause y'all are just too far gone. Oh my god, it's just so funny, man. I love that video. So, that, that's like top 10 videos on the internet. It's just so funny to me every time I see it. Bro, oh my where god. the fuck did this nigga come from, bro? This nigga, what's his name? Tom Tom Jacobs? Tom Jacobs? Ooh. The nigga that's in the same line as the Fresh and Fit niggas. Oh, Andrew Tate? Yeah. Where did he come from? Uh, wait, wait, why'd you say Tom Jacobs? <laughs> I don't know what that dumbass nigga's exactly. name is. Oh, I gotta go to Tom Jacobs real quick to see what that is. Nah, but Andrew not, a, Tate, not just anybody. But I don't know who the, the fuck. The, what is he? Where did he come from? I mean, Loki kind of spawned out of nowhere. But it's just uh, that's how I know I'm the not, fucking <laughs> this shit got to be fake. Tom Jacobs, Pluto through the houses. This nigga's a, a conspiracy theorist. I'm gonna have to watch the videos later. He has a whole YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Lord. Okay. Okay. Nah, but Andrew Tate though. Nah, that nigga. I don't know where he came from. For like dead ass. I don't know where he came from. Like. He spawned, like one, bro. Like him, uh, that's Sneeko. Like that's nigga I couldn't say on stream, but Sneeko, that's Who is him. That? So like he, so basically they're all in the same space, and it's like cause him, Sneeko, and uh, Young Don and Sasuke, they all believe in the same shit. Like, oh yeah, we we need to keep women inside, and you know women should not be able to leave the house. These things are crazy. What? But they all believe in the same shit, but they all hate each other. But besides uh, Sneeko and Young D, because Young D, the sauce god, he pulled up on Sneeko. Now they're like best buds. It's, just, it's, so, it's so cringe. But like now they're best friends. Where did they, like who is Sneeko? Where did he come from? So supposedly Sneeko, like he's been preaching this shit, quote unquote, before Andrew Tate was even a thing. But like niggas didn't take him serious, I guess. But like now that Andrew Tate's coming into the fray. Like they're kind of like, oh well, Sneeko's been saying this shit. He's been telling the truth, even though all this just fucking weird ass shit out completely. And of course, Young Don the South Scott, he he came in re- well, not recently, but like he started like, I guess matching with their ideals uh, recently as well. So now all of them are like now people see all three of them and an Aiden and uh, Speed as like the as like the leaders of our generation of the content creators. Shit's so cringe and weird. Absolutely the leaders. Like Yes, bro. People on Twitter like have you not seen those fucking things on Twitter and on TikTok where it's like uh the four greatest the four the four great horsemen of our generation. It's fucking Andrew Tate, Sneeko, Speed, and Aiden. Which is fucking terrible and crazy as hell. You haven't seen that? I've no, I don't <laughs> uh, I don't I allow this it, shit yeah. to touch my eyes. Hell no. Nah. I see I see all so that. I see them letters A and I don't wanna like see that bullshit. I don't I mean Aiden he doing his thing, but I don't know no. who the fuck Andrew Tate is. No, nah, I think it's because like I've I've I, I'm just like I don't see I just kind of fuck with Bruce now. Like I still like your rage, shout out your rage, but like he like he got on a call with Aiden and uh, Andrew Tate on t- on Twitch and stuff, and they were all going back and forth. I think XQC that's another thing. Well, people keep getting this nigga a platform because XQC was debating uh versus why is nigga why is he Tate. like a wasn't he one of the meme low niggas what do y'all call them the lols versus the oh the lols yeah. or some shit like that the lols versus the, the reactions i think it's the yeah like the omega lols versus the L- double l side where the fuck that shit yeah, is, yeah. But wasn't wasn't xqc a part of the w or the omega lols yeah oh yeah he's supposed to with pokemon in them but um, How, why the i don't fuck know am why? i seeing him in so many videos with aiden rostin I don't know. They all just been mingling all of a sudden. The thing is, like that half of them are not even staying on the fucking Twitch. All of them are about to leave to YouTube. I think, like, damn near all like that. Didn't that nigga Sakuno just leave? All of them are leaving. So I don't know. I guess the site's breaking up. But can niggas not see when they're getting used? That's what I'm saying. Because Andrew Cause, like, Tate is please XQC please. is clearly Probably. just using <laughs> these niggas to like get oh, more numbers. That's what he's you already mean. huge. Nah, you're right though, cause there's a uh, you know Kai from AMP. The this has been this girl, like there's been multiple girls. I think there's that one girl like that people everybody hates, um like a- Amarath or some shit. Yeah, it was her oh, and yeah, some yeah. other him and some other girl. They've been um like like talking on stream for like and they just be talking and like people just be watching them talk and it's like the <laughs> so most, it's like, like this right? It's like the um imagine the imagine the white dude that's. You know, just trying to get into the group of black people by acting, I guess, quote unquote, like them or some shit like that. It's sort of like that. Like they want 
to get into the same space that Kai and Aiden are all in by going in there, doing a couple streams with them, making a few jokes, and then getting the cool stamp for them. And now they got their own huge ass audience they already had of all the white niggas. And they also have the audience that Kai or Aiden might be bringing to themselves. So they're just using them to get more eyes on them. And Kai yeah. and them are just letting themselves be used. Yeah. Because the thing is, like, Kai's group, or Kai's, uh, I guess, fan base will go watch uh, the Amaranth and stuff like that. But Amaranth's fan base will not even think about going at to watch all. the Kai's fan base at all. At all. At all. So it's a at win all, lose. Because they're not going to come watch Kai because it's just like the this the the Reddit mod niggas. But that nigga Bruce was like, I love them niggas, but like, he was like, you would never catch me dead having that nigga on my fucking stream. I he said, said that? I've never seen an Amaranth stream. Yeah, he said, he said it recently. He said, like, he was said about all them niggas, because he moved, he just moved into his new house, and his first stream, he was like, like, I didn't know, like, what do you think about Andrew Tate or something? He was like, man, fuck that nigga. He was <laughs> like, nigga, that nigga would never be dead on my stream. Hell he no. Said, he said, he's like, I don't know about other niggas, like, I fuck with other niggas, you know, you know what I'm talking about, but me personally would never let that happen to me. Like, Absolutely I not. And then that, that one sense probably be starting beef. Yeah. Like, I just don't want that energy on my stream. Like... Oh, hell no, nah. but that nigga just, he, he does shit for, he's literally a clout demon, and niggas allow him to demonize shit. Just so crazy. So, what do y'all, I mean, we, we all raw against that nigga Andrew Tate and, like, that whole, uh, this ideals and shit like that, but, like, what do y'all, like, I, I've seen a lot of people on TikTok talk about, like, this is, like, the new, like, pipeline in terms of, like, like, making people, like, be more conservative and, like, oh, like, anti-women and shit like that. It doesn't help that, we, like, in our everyday life, we have, like, you know, anti-abortion coming down and stuff like that. And then looking at other cases, like, what do y'all feel like, like, will, will this have, like, a big negative effect over time, like, for, like, the next decade? Like, you think these people are still going to be popular and, like, I mean, like, fresh and fit naked and shit like that? Cancel culture is done. Like, all that shit with canceling and stuff like that, that shit is no more. Like, it's just, like, these niggas have garnered too big of an audience of niggas that don't give a fuck. To where, I mean, didn't, didn't, what's his new, I'm not even gonna say his name, but didn't do literally say the F slur on that stream one time and get banned and he came back and nobody even talks about it. Oh, yeah. Damn. I mean, I, I still don't even know if it, is, if it was him or not. Cause I, oh, it's his, it was his friend. I don't, I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> that nigga sounded, who, who else would it? That nigga sounded just like him. That's like somebody hearing my voice saying it. Of, of of Pokemon gameplay of me saying the F slur and then me just be like oh I mean you can't see my face so it's not me and nigga, always, always clearly you the only reason I said it might not be him because like that nigga is not that fucking stupid because that nigga has too big of a fucking I mean, platform he didn't know he was and, like streaming. he's too big I mean I guess I mean but I mean you're not wrong though that nigga like that nigga, that nigga easily came back too like it was a fucking like there vacation was no for him backlash yeah the only backlash oh. I saw was niggas getting mad at Twitch. Yeah. They wanted they wanted the other dude to be banned because this happened on his stream and not the other one. Yeah, it's a crazy idea. It's like how all these like black people. That's the thing I was saying before. It's like um, what's it called? Like all the like the white people just be like, we're being on. They just be prospering. Like they be doing the same shit but be prospering because Sneeko got because Sneeko's Hispanic by the way. He got banned off of Twitch um from saying the same shit Andrew Tate was saying. Andrew Tate is being prospering is living it up on Twitch. And same thing with Young Don DeSasca. I'm not saying these niggas' ideals are correct. I'm just saying Young Don DeSasca is saying the same shit that Sneeko and Andrew Tate is saying, well, but they got both got banned. Saying, he got banned for saying the F slur on Twitter. Oh, is that why? Oh. Yeah, because he was like, he was like, if y'all want to, if y'all want to cancel me so bad, and I might as well just go back to saying. And then he said the F slur. Yeah, so then he kept it up, and he said he deleted it. But he said he only deleted it for, so like, so he wouldn't get banned. But he still got banned. How does that like connect to a Twitch? Because like, like, like once you're a partner, you can't do outlandish shit even uh, off the site. Uh, okay, that's why that's okay. why dude got banned because okay. he he, he was being outlandish even though he wasn't streaming. He was still the one that said it. That makes sense. So like if I if I were to get partner and then go on Twitter yeah. and say yeah fuck every damn race in the world and then I would get banned. Okay, but I, I didn't know that. Wait, so Taco, what do you think of this whole, all these niggas? I mean, I think it's, it's, um, I would just say predictable. I think predictable is the first yeah. thing that comes to mind because every, 
every few months or so you find like a new replacement of who is who was at the helm of like this whole you know um what would i say like like extra or like this super extra like masculinity like toxic masculinity type of deal you're always going to find a figurehead for it whether it's andrew tate whether it's you know the fit the fresh and fit people yeah. um whether it's like the next podcast or people that come out obviously they're going to make you big because they know their target audience they know how easy it is to get down that pipeline like i, I saw a tiktok like the other day well i think i, I think jez it might have been that you sent me that, or maybe I saw it on my own. Uh, maybe it's I, I I don't remember, but basically it's a TikTok of somebody made a a fresh TikTok, like a fresh account, wondering to see how far it would take to get down like that like um, right wing pipeline or like uh, you know the whole shit. And is, is that the one you sent me, or did you just see it as well? Nah, but I, I heard people do that, and like it's like it's kind of like the same shit, like what Payne was talking about. Like if you make a fresh account on TikTok, you'll you'll just see ass like all the time. You'll just see like all the bashing on TikTok immediately. So I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah. So someone did that, and I think within like the first like after liking like a few things, maybe scrolling down like five six times, they got like an Andrew T video, and like after Hell. liking that, they got more right wing shit, and like it just got, kept getting worse, gradually worse. So. Like I said, like I think obviously, you know, what you guys have said is 100% correct, and um, there's really no way to weed these people out. Obviously, they can't really be canceled because their core audience is people who already fuck with them, people who you know listen to their content, and are not going to like cancel them obviously for saying something like that because that's why they follow them in the first place. That's why they fucking with them um, in general. So you can't really get them out like that. And even if they are, even if they like, you know, have a low profile or just want to take a chill for a little bit, then the next uh, podcast or the next person, personality is going to take their place. So it's really unavoidable. You just really have to be, I guess, aware or um, want to know where to uh, be cautious of, especially with younger people, especially like if you have like younger like siblings or cousins or whatever like that. Um, I think it's important to just let them know, like, hey, listen, like, you know, this is like the internet, like people will say some dumb shit and it, it, it might make sense to you or it might not or whatever. Just know that it's like, there's a lot of fucked up shit. A lot of people who lie on the internet. And I know that's like common sense, but a lot of the time, you know, I, I'm sure we all went through that as well. Like a lot of the time we're like teenagers and go on the, on the internet and see something and think it's real or see something and we believe it. So, you know, we, I don't know, whatever the case may be, just, you know, go on from there. But I think it's important to just let people know who might not have that opportunity to like sit down and think about it. Maybe, like I said, maybe like younger family members or whatever. Just like, hey, like this is like this is not real. This is like not real life. Blah 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 blah. So, I mean, I don't know. These people are just corny. That's all. Yeah. You know what I'm happy I about. Mean... <clears throat> what are you saying? So you know what I'm happy about. Oh what? I'm glad like that I was able to. Find two niggas, and y'all's thought process did not equal any of these niggas that we're talking about right now. Uh, oh, you mean yeah? I mean, like I feel like ample more fans. What? Uh, that's, a, that's I mean, that's the thing though. That's what I was gonna say. It's like even uh, I mean, rest in power to him. I mean, like because you know, just out of respect. But like even with uh, what's that man? Uh, Samuel, the man who's recently passed away. Samuel, uh, his him and like. Like he even said it himself, where he, like when he before he passed, like he was like he said on he said on that live, like I could keep sitting on here and like roasting men and I mean like and telling men to like buck up and oh, do Kevin, this, do that, Kevin or Samuels. yeah, Kevin Samuels, or I could like slander women and like bash women. I will grow exponentially, and he did. So it's like I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm just saying like him and like Andrew Tate and stuff like that. These people be on the internet saying all this, that, and the third. I can bet you, like, if you go like behind closed doors, they might not even believe in this shit for real. Maybe some of them do, of course, but some of them might just be like, yeah, I don't even, I don't think women should be in the house. I think women should just do whatever the fuck they do. And that's the true thing too, because that man Sneeko, they outed him because I think Sneeko went on a podcast with someone, and he was talking about how like he let a girl, he he let his girl get fucked by another dude in front of. It was some, I don't know, it was some fucked up weird. It was, I mean, if you like what you like, you like what you like. But it was like it wasn't like lining up with what he like is preaching now. 
Of course, people change, obviously, but it's like, how were you like saying this like a couple like months ago to a year ago? You were saying you were letting your girl do all this, that, and the third. But now you're saying, yeah, girls should be in the house. Girls should be doing this. Women should be doing this. So like, like, bro, do not take this shit seriously at all. If you like, if you're watching us and you like, you want to take something from this, do not be looking at these niggas as like some type of idols. Don't even be looking at us as idols because none of us are perfect. Like, that's why I'm. What the call? With the whole, uh, with the whole Bruce shit. Like he was saying, that's why I really like respect that because like he's friends with these niggas. He's like knows rage and Kai and all these niggas. And he's like, I respect them. They're my, you know, they're my homies. Like I will not bend and start doing the shit they're doing. And not no disrespect, but like that's just how I am. Because he said yeah. to him, being a, a you know strong, uh, like real man is uplifting your woman and making her like putting her in positions to where she can boss up. And she can like get her own stuff and do her own things, which I agree with. I don't see how I'm that's not, gonna... not normal. Exactly, like that shouldn't like, be. Why is that the like, why is that the outlandish day. take these days? Like I don't get why people like don't want their women and like or their girlfriends or whatever the fuck to like to be just as because it's, it's just so weird because like it's like it's always like going up and down because we'll be at one point where like guys will be like ah, yeah I want girls to split the bill I want girls to ask guys out i want this that, and the third but then they would change be like yeah actually i want to pay for everything i want my girl to sit at home and cook and clean for me like what do y'all niggas want like y'all niggas don't make no sense i don't know it's just weird i just I don't, don't see how like why would you want why would you want to be in a relationship where your woman doesn't radiate as much power as you do like why do you want her to seem weak to anybody outside of the relationship that makes no sense this is like control shit because like people think we're like in the 60s again we're like men had all the financial because thing is having financial independence is very important that's how like abuse starts and stuff like that because if you have all the power because these niggas want to have everything under their name they want to have the house under their name they want to pay for all her clothes all her stuff they want to have the car under her name everything probably make her sign a prenup and everything but when they get married let's say like like he goes and cheats and he gets caught and he's like, oh well man i, I see i do everything for you anyways and then you just get out of my house and now she has nowhere to go because yeah. she has nothing yeah she doesn't she has nothing yeah, but so then, like, like, when they get in arguments, they make it seem like they're being forced to. Like, they'll pay all the bills because they, they choose to or because they force her to not pay anything. And then when the argument starts, it's like, well, I mean, I, I pay everything around here. The least you could do is, like, bro, you you are making yeah. me live this lifestyle. What? That's what it would be. That's what they'd they be itching for. And they're trying to pass down. And that's the thing that's scary because, like, before it was, like, only focusing on the wife. And now people, like, young down in the South, kind of all of them, like, trying to make it, like, yeah, I'm going to make my daughter be the same way. I mean, my daughter would be like, oh, you can only stay at the house. You can't do this. You can't do that. Like, um, I don't I don't know how you these, raise a person like these dudes that. saying so this would talk to another nigga like that. Like, they only talk at to all. women like that. At I all. think it's so, like, I mean, I don't know if it's just, like, the way that I think or whatever. Or, uh, you know, maybe it's not, like, the common consensus. But at least to, to me, even though I've only been in, like, you know, one serious relationship before or whatever, like, it's kind of, at least common sense to like hell on you should put a hundred percent effort you both people involved in like a um monogamous relationship whatever both people should put a hundred percent of effort into each other yeah. into the relationship and also have things maybe like i don't know 50 50 in a sense of you know you you put you doing your part in the relationship in not not in a relationship per se but like you do your part like for example if um I don't fucking know, like, um, if you, um, I don't know, like, say you need, like, help, like, say you're, like, you're both in college or whatever, like, say you're better in this subject than your partner, like, obviously, then, um, your partner's, like, struggling with it, like, you know, you, you can actually help them through it, you know, you can actually go through that, and maybe, on the other hand, um, I don't know, you're trying to work on, like, writing something, or maybe writing an essay, and your other partner is, like, good, good, good with that, or whatever, you can work on, and, not not just like with school related, but also just like real life shit. Just like you know, you're supposed to, uh, you know, split things with your partner. You're supposed to like you know, not necessarily oh, uh, one person like oh, pays for everything, or one person uh, oh, you know, cleans the house, does the dishes, whatever the fuck. Maybe it should be like split. Like I think that's like I think that's a very safe thing to say. Like common sense wise, it's just like. It should be like you know things should be split. I mean, whether you have your own arrangement to like, okay, if you're always gonna do something, then I'm always gonna do you know something just to like share, um, you know, I don't know, share like responsibilities or whatever. But I, I think personally, it's like really not, 
not that hard to ask. Just to, you know, just to come into accordance with things and like you know, just just be aware of how you can split things up, just so you can you know use the rest of your time to benefit your relationship, benefit each other, just so it's not like you know there's a whole whole moment of contention, you know, where in other relationships it might be more controlling and everything like that, or like like you were saying, just like power, like up the power dynamic may be very off. So in cases yeah. like this, you know, if it's like a even relationship, then things like power dynamics won't even be an issue because you're always going to be like 50, 50, like, uh, uh, you know, all, all in a hundred percent, of course, but like, obviously, you know, 50, 50 in it, uh, in another, in other cases and stuff like that. So I don't know. I, I think that's just, that's just my way of seeing things. And I think it's, it's not too much to ask for. Yeah, at all. I don't know. I just, I feel like these, these niggas are literally, they, they don't even think like this. I feel like, like Don and, Andrew and what's his name? Skibo? Yeah. Yeah, Skibo. They don't fucking they don't think like this. They just do all this shit just for clout, basically. That's the saddest part. It was like they're influent because like all these like young ass kids, 13, 14, they see they see these and they're like, Oh yeah, I want to be just like them. And they're so rich and have all these women and cars, and I want to be just like them. So impressionable. And, they, and these niggas grow up to be those fucking weirdos. So they're back and that's the thing, they all have like Cause this nigga Andrew T has like a whole. That's all a whole different. This thing has like he's like has like a whole pyramid scheme. He's having people like buy his what like, his stuff. Yeah, he's having people like buy his like program to like oh you can be just like me and you can think just like me and it's like and this 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 is so like disingenuous. Like you don't even like you just know you're just raking in money. No damn well he could probably go home and be giving his women his wife fucking foot massages. No damn well that shit is just corny. I don't know. Fuck them niggas. Fuck them niggas. Fuck them niggas. Yeah, absolutely. Like, these niggas, I don't know. Even if that nigga DM me personally and was like, "Bro, please let me on the podcast." Fuck no. Absolutely not. Like I'm like, like we're not giving you a platform to start spraying some more bullshit. Absolutely not. Maybe other niggas. I mean, respect to them, but I'm over here. I don't know. No, no, I couldn't even like. I don't know. I see niggas that are even saying like they want to debate with them and shit like that. Like, bro, it's, it's not. He's just doing it for clout and viewers and money, bro. Like that shit is not a real debate. Like Honestly, you might be serious going on there at all. You might be wasting your fucking life and stress points talking and arguing and yelling at that nigga. But he's literally just gonna be like, bro, I'm about to lead this argument two times richer than I was when I started this shit. Nah, because the thing is, like these people, like it's not even a debate. They just go in and start like yelling and they. But I feel like both sides, you know, if we go in the debate, we're gonna everybody get a bag off of this. I think the only person that actually really debated that nigga was that fucking Hassan nigga. Because that nigga Hassan, all he does is just do political content. He went on there like he like, and and that's you know like they can't they don't debate because he went on there and he like he decimated that nigga on stream and the nigga he like he like like I think like thirty minutes and he's like oh, I can't do this anymore. You know, you're, you're ruining the fun, like, you, you know, like, I, I want to come on here, like, yeah, like, he got, like, that nigga's just, like, he just backed out, so that's, you know, it's not even for a debate, y'all just want to go on and start using, like, people's identities and, like, communities and, like, oh, you know, I, I'm actually, like, you know, bro, you just want to go on here and get some subs, let's be honest, bro, keep it a buck with you, like, if you, if you're really about, like, that whole actual thing, you wouldn't even put the nigga on your fucking platform, like, you can, like, you know, debate him on Twitter and shit, I guess, but, like, other than that, hell nah. What the, what the fuck? Yeah, these uh, niggas all move weird, honestly. Every single one of them. Just like I, I'll never allow them a fucking a platform ever. That's why that's why, that's why I'm getting like why niggas like Corey and Berlin and them just like actual shepherds. They don't even be talking to these niggas. You don't even see these niggas out in the open. Just be minding their business. You gotta respect it. Yeah, I mean they did what they needed to do and they got the fuck out the way. And that's how that's how making money should be, like make your money, do what you got to do to get to the top, and then get out the way. Like, that's how I see how these niggas, these niggas get their money and then still want to be the number one headline every single day. Hell no! Nah. Like I don't know how like they like their mentals are not like it is. I mean, like, their mentals destroyed. It just they get the perception that it's not. I don't know. nah, cause like. That's why, like, honestly, like, I feel like, like, Corey taking breaks like that is actually, like, should be the norm. Like, people, because I see some of the people, like, they be kind of scared to take breaks. I think, you know, I get the whole, like, grinding and stuff like that. But, like, once you get to the top, like, you have all the, like, you're doing all these different things. You, you need to take long, extended breaks. 
you know, to like, you know, patch yourself up, regroup and come back. Like these people will be like, oh, if, I, if I take a break, I, I'm just going to, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to survive. I can't, I can't handle it. And that's not a good thing. And they keep doing it to the point where they hit that wall where they're like, I, if I don't take a break now, I'm going to like break down completely. And it should never get to that point. That's why, like, honestly, Corey taking breaks from like six, nine, whatever the months or whatever the weeks is, is, I mean, it's, not, I mean, he, it's a good thing, honestly. I, mean, I don't get why it's like some type of. I know some people are just joking around and stuff, obviously, but like some niggas actually really be mad at that nigga. I don't know. No, they they hate the. I mean, it's, most of them do hate whenever he takes breaks and shit like that. I mean, he's on a break right now. Yeah, and a nigga. <laughs> I went to like his recent video and a nigga commented. He was like, um. He's like, damn, Corey told us he's going to be right back, and that nigga ain't posted in two fucking months. Whatever the fuck he's <laughs> like, he was going crazy. <laughs> like, these niggas really be mad. Like, even Berlizzi not posting for, like, two weeks or whatever the fuck it was, a week. Like, niggas are still getting mad at him. Except this nigga's mad. Like, you don't see this nigga doing shit in real. Like, this nigga, like, nigga, he's, like, a lot more open about it than Corey is. He'd be like, I'm doing stuff. Like, I'm going to DreamCon. We're filming things. Like, this nigga is doing, like, once you get to the top as well, like, more opportunities come your way. Like that man was like how the whole thing with State Farm and shit. Like people, like they have a lot of stuff on their plate. YouTube becomes more of a. It's still like they love doing it, obviously, but it becomes like not the forefront no more. It's like an avenue to get what you want. The same way all these like Ariana Grande and Selena Gomez, they went they went through acting on Nickelodeon and Disney Channel, and then now they're fucking superstars and singing and stuff. It's the same shit. They use YouTube as an avenue to get where they really want to go. Like, this nigga Mark from RDC wants to go into, like, manga and, like, TV shows and to be a director of, like, movies and stuff. And he already is doing his short films. He already, he just met the nigga from Marvel, uh, Kevin Feige. Like, that's that's the goal. Not YouTube. That's the goal. I mean, I don't know. That's how you, that's how you just say how to think nowadays. I don't know. Yeah, these niggas weird, honestly. I mean, they, they can keep on, you know, trying to be the headline and shit like that. I mean, that's just, like... I don't know. I think of them the same way I think about Lil Pump. Like, he was extremely famous at one point, too. That's a great comparison, actually. That's actually pitch perfect. It was yeah, just like that. He, he was huge, and, you know, his name was in the headline every single day, and, you know, he was getting money. And then, you know, the J. Cole, of the, the J. Coles of the world was like, hey, bro, you really need to be doing this instead of showing your ass all the fucking time. But, you know, they didn't I think listen. it's said. So let me go. Let me go hang out with Andrew Tate, and then proceeded to go get called little pimp by Donald Trump on national television. That shit really crazy for real. Damn, that's actually that's a perfect comparison. Absolutely, that's a perfect comparison. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we've seen it before. Like, thing is, like these releases and Corey's, they've been famous for as long as I've been on YouTube. These like people that are famous right now, I guess we've seen the rice gums before. We've seen the leafiest years. Like we've seen niggas that, you know, like to show out like them, and just do just crazy outlandish shit that no human in the fucking world would even think of doing. Like just saying they don't want women to have rights and shit like that. Like we've seen niggas like this act before, and they are nowhere near the limelight right now. I can't even tell you what the fuck Leaf or Rice Gum is doing right now, but they were just as famous as these niggas, if not more famous. I just was like this. It really, it really is like it's a little pump and all them because like the niggas come and go. Like if you notice, the niggas actually just like stay true to themselves and like are actually like not just doing weird shit. They, like I just looked at Rice Gum right now. The nigga has posted the video in two years. What the fuck happened to you? Like what the? No, how the you damn like, soul knows? <laughs> like what the fuck? I don't know, Leafy is here has been gone. I don't know what happens to that nigga at all. But, like, if you take anything away from this video, like, just realize, like, that don't be like that. Just don't be like that whole, like, that whole content is content mindset. I hate that thing. Content is content. Everything is content. Not everything is content. These are real people's lives. Like, all these, like, pranks and, like, debating, quote, unquote, and all this weird shit. That's not everything has to be content. Like, if you're debating about, like, people's actual rights, like, okay, like I support, you know, Pro choice. I support. I'm so I'm pro life. Don't not don't, your first thing should not be. Oh, damn, we should get on stream. No, like why is that your first thought? No, your thing should be. Bam, people, real people, every day are suffering from this pro choice versus pro life argument type shit. Uh, you know, we can like debate on Twitter, I guess, and go back and forth a little bit, but that should be like the end of it. It shouldn't be. Let's go profit off of this. Like what the fuck? Are yeah, you donating like, that money? It's or all something? for money. Like that's the only thing it's for is for money. Because like I know for a fact if. 
if Andrew Tate was saying some wild shit on Twitter, and then a top streamer hit him up like, "Hey, bro, let's just let's just debate this shit." The first question would be like, "All right, when's your stream?" Like if I I would if I were to call that nigga up and be like, "All right, let's debate on the phone." Like nigga, no, if you don't start your stream up and do this shit so we can make bank off this shit, like that's what it is. Like they, if you call that nigga up and try to debate on the phone or ask him me up or some shit like that, like if it's not on streaming or TV or anything, like he, they would not do that shit. It's only for money. Oh, that don't care about that. half of the shit they're talking about unless it is for fucking a dollar. That's it. Corny. Oh, so, yeah. I, I'm just glad, like, we get to see, like, we have, like, both perceptions. We see the niggas that are actually smart, the shepherds, and we see, like, all the fucking sheep. We're like, yeah, hell no. Nah. We can, like, actually pick and, like, know what the fuck to do. I'm just glad about that shit for sure. Yeah, man, I feel like we've talked about it. enough shit. If y'all are good to go. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, I guess this ended off about the whole, I know, I know it's coming out of left field, but the whole monkeypox thing and stuff like that. Y'all just stay safe. Um, I think the last time we talked about, um, the World Health Organization coming out saying it's like a global thing. I know there's been a lot of like big cases in America now. I think in New York, they just said like, there's like, it's like a, a, a state emergency. Yeah. Um, just some like, um, fuck. <laughs> Bro, I saw pictures of that shit. If I get monkeypox, I'm re-rolling like instantaneously. Nah, that shit's I'm actually crazy for real. That shit's actually crazy for real. Like y'all need to be really careful. Like, um, if I, if I really get thirty thousand bumps on my face, like I'm either re-rolling, or I'm gonna walk around with the fucking Doctor Doom mask all the time. Nah, it's not even like it's not even. <laughs> it doesn't even stop. It doesn't even stop there because like I didn't notice, but like it can, it can go anywhere. So like if you get it, it can go in, like your asshole, it can go into your urethra, it can go into what? Your, yes, it's like it's that like not for Bro, everybody. That shit's in my urethra, I'm kind of yes, go. And it's, no, and man, it's, it's not going to be inside my anything. I wouldn't be in this body anymore. So I mean, it can, it can be you wherever the fuck this body. No, I'm transferring to heaven. You transferring bodies to bro. with my spirit. Oh, to an angel. But some uh, some general information. Of course, wash your hands a lot. Don't like, especially if you're going to school or even going to work. Keep your distance. Wear your mask as well. Like I said last time, like the initial symptoms are like flu-like symptoms. So wear your mask. Like I, I know, like there's no mask mandates, nigga. No, like no one cares. So honestly, all this is for nothing. But like, do your best to protect yourself, at least, and your family and your friends and stuff like that. So wear your mask. Keep your distance. Uh, get wipes and hand, and wipe stuff down before you touch it and sit on it. If you're going to the movies and stuff like I know, like Black Panthers, like all this g- good shit is coming out. Nope is out right now. Ah. Get your wipes, wipe that bitch down. Don't just sit anywhere. Yeah. Uh, wear gloves. I know, like I know, people might look at you funny, but nigga, at least you won't catch this damn shit. So maybe wear gloves even, because uh, the CDC don't give a fuck. Them niggas are telling niggas, oh, we don't know what to do. So, so bro, you know, just protect yourself as best as you can. COVID is still out there. Is oh my god, bro. Oh my lord. Yeah, just protect yourselves though. Y'all, y'all got anything else? For fucks. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, yeah, it's kind of crazy because I've been saying that shit like four pods in a row. That we're fucked. I mean, it's yeah. true. <laughs> we're uh, fucked. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't make. I just hope it doesn't make, bro. I hope it doesn't mix. I just hope it doesn't make. If it makes, it makes some type of COVID pox. Oh, yeah. It's over. We go into Almighty Atlantis, bro. Fuck. I might be real. I'm down there with Namor in them. Chilling. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm, I'm instantly switching sides. Bro, joining the Mexican. Yes, sir. Oh, That's crazy. Got it. The villain inside this new Black Panthers movie is water, but it's all right. Damn. What the Make fuck? It off right here. Y'all can go ahead and close it off. What? <laughs> we got to talk about that next time. Damn, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's been, it's been just as Apollo and Twitter. Yeah. We love y'all. Stay safe. Don't forget what Apollo said at the beginning of this podcast. Yeah. I cleaned it up. Yeah, bleep it out, bleep it out. I forget the bleeps. Bleep it in. Peace.